Cartridge filters are becoming increasingly popular in new vehicle applications. Although they're relatively easy to change and dispose of, extra care must be taken when installing a replacement filter. Failure to follow proper installation procedure may result in oil leakage and engine damage. Applications may differ slightly, but the following installation should be representative of most. For this video, we're changing the filter on a 2009 Chevrolet HHR with a 2.2 liter engine. This video will show the steps involved in changing the filter and does not include the engine oil drain or refill sequence. To begin the filter change, locate the filter housing and, if applicable, remove the drain plug from the housing cap allowing any residual oil to drain from the housing. In this particular application, there is no drain plug on the cap or housing. The oil in the filter housing will drain to the oil pan when the cap is loosened. Using an appropriate tool, remove the filter cap from the housing. Note the location of the oil ring seal on the housing cap and remove the O-ring and set it aside. Some caps have several grooves which may appear to be the location for the O-ring. Be sure to note the correct one. Remove the filter cartridge from the cap and set it aside with the previously removed O-ring. Clean both the filter housing cap and the filter housing. Examine them for damage, such as breakage, cracks, or damaged threads. Make certain the groove in which the O-ring seats is clean and undamaged. If necessary, replace any damaged components. Compare the new filter cartridge and the included O-ring with the used filter and O-ring that were set aside previously to make certain you have the correct filter for your application. Do not reuse any of the old O-rings as they're not designed for multiple service intervals. Reuse of the old O-ring may lead to oil leakage and possible engine damage. Install the new housing O-ring onto the housing cap by rolling the O-ring evenly into place in its groove. Make sure the O-ring is positioned in its correct location when in place. If the O-ring appears to be twisted, slide the O-ring around in the groove and allow it to straighten out. This is an important detail to prevent premature failure of the O-ring. Apply clean engine oil to the new O-ring. Place the new filter cartridge in the housing cap. Install the housing cap and filter into the filter housing by hand until you feel the O-ring begin to compress. Using an appropriate tool, tighten the housing cap as indicated on the cap or in the vehicle owner's manual. In this installation, we're using a torque wrench and tightening the cap to 25 newton meters as indicated on the cap. Do not over tighten the cap or damage to the cap or the housing could occur. This concludes the filter installation procedure. Be sure to check the housing cap seal for leakage when you initially start the engine after changing the filter. And don't forget to check the oil level on the dipstick to confirm the oil is in the recommended operating range.